Let me use the opportunity and give two very strong warnings. It just came to my spirit. I want you to listen, Koinonia Global, Body of Christ. Um, focus on me now for the next one minute. Two things that just came to my spirit to say very strongly. Number one, I'm announcing officially to you all that you must beware of scammers. Beware of fraudulent people, especially those on the internet. As a person, I'm not on any social media platform. Are we together? No, I'm not. So if you've been interacting with any Joshua Selman online, no matter how kind he sounds, that is a scammer. Number two, there is no orphanage project we are running somewhere. I think that's the popular deception. Many of you have lost maybe tens, hundreds, perhaps thousands of dollars to this network of scammers online who parade to be Joshua Selman. I'm saying it officially. There is no, we are a responsible ministry. Thank you, my dear media people. I'm not on any social media platform, number one. Number two, it will be foolish, number one. I don't even have that time. The person who has the time to be talking to you all the time, you see, that must be a foolish Joshua Selman. Are we together? This is the wise one. There was a Jesus in the Bible called bad Jesus. A wrong and foolish one. So you need to know how to be wise. The Bible says the word of the Lord is perfect. The loss of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. Then it also makes men wise. So some of you have become victims to these scammers. If you're currently in any discussion with anybody, and some of them are so bold, sometimes they even come to the official page. While the service is going on like this, they just say, I am this one. And because, you see, people are desperate for results. And so they just believe. They first start with a semblance of compassion. They try to talk to you and say, it looks like you've been depressed. You say, it's true. You are crying. And then the next thing, they say, call this number. And then it all ends with giving money. Sometimes they may even claim to pray genuinely. It is a lie. I hear that there are people who have even gone to the extent of cutting my pictures to, you know, put in a lot of things and make it look you you should know what we stand for right social media is a noisy place everybody has a right to say anything it's important for you with understanding to be able to know what we can do and what we cannot do so i'm saying this officially this is very important if you are dealing with any joshua selman particularly anybody asking you to bring money or bring this or bring whatever especially for an international family you are dealing with liars and scammers this is very important hallelujah desist from that disconnect from them every communication from this ministry we're improving all our communication channels to make sure that we're effective and responsible enough every major department that corresponds with a community, they have a line that you can reach and we're replicating this for all our other expressions. And then number two, the second uh, very important announcement. Uh, thank you, Jesus. This really skipped my spirit. I think I would have been sad if I didn't have this. Now, this is particularly for YouTubers and all who use my content and my teachings. It's important for you to know that we give unreserved access to use this contents based on the understanding that everyone who uses them desires number one to preach Jesus and desires to be an extension of this spiritual value that we're sending to the nations let me make that very clear and there are many who have held on to that conviction thankfully and you would notice number one I have never I don't even know those people most of them that you know there are people who today through the platform of the social media and these teachings god has prospered them and to my joy i am happy knowing that whilst they are serving the purposes of jesus god is blessing them i'm very delighted knowing that but i need to say this every abuse of content there are many people and the social media is unfortunately a very crazy place People know that every time they drop my picture or content anywhere, it doesn't matter what they are saying, it seems to command the attention of people. 
and it's unfortunate the abuses that have happened all over the internet you see that now people crop out messages and twist them into all kinds of things they become objects of division objects of confusion and all kinds of things and um, we are a responsible ministry and I owe it to you to tell you this particularly for those anyone at all with no restraint with giving people access you know to be able to let people reach these teachings because no matter what how much I teach there's a limit to which I can get the people to listen to and so as many who can help to push these things it's a welcome development provided their intent is to help people find Jesus find meaning and find purpose for those who are obsessed with coining every kind of thing by the time your desire to drive traffic for the purpose of profit becomes greater than or the only motivation please take away my content from your nonsense hallelujah we are responsible people who love Jesus but there are all kinds of abuses and, and as for me it's, it's not a concern for me but for the innocent sincere people who sometimes they see your pictures they see your videos and they are rushing there to find Jesus to find life and here are people who they don't mind putting anything all they want is traffic so that they receive payments from YouTube if you hurt people you tell lies you manipulate so that you have the money the Bible says the cause of the Lord is in the house of the wicked are we together now yes so you must respect the effort the energy the discipline the consecration the spirituality that brings these teachings and I want to thank many of you who have become partners in the spirit and in progress and through your various platforms you've helped people to know Jesus to know what God is doing may God bless you and lift you in Jesus name and I'm happy that God is prospering you while you are doing it at least it's, it's better than stealing it's better than all kinds of things there are people today who have built houses through these contents podcast I am happy knowing that from what God has given us we are not only blessing people spiritually but people are finding even financial meaning to their lives but I'm putting a very strong warning and a strong disclaimer abuses must stop hallelujah if you're doing your thing online you can do your thing but take away koinonia and its content from your madness don't use our content as an object to cause division in the body of Christ frustrate the effort of believers to grow and so on and so forth it is against our values and it's against what we stand for hallelujah so it's very important if you are pro Jesus if you are pro healing if you are pro destiny you are a decent person seeking to help people find meaning with their lives and God helps you to use your social media platform then may God bless you you're welcome let the teachings through you bless others and through it bless you and lift you is with all joy but make sure that you do not become a, an agent of anarchy confusion causing trouble and confusion especially to younger believers who are growing it is unfortunate how the kind of nonsense that the social media sometimes and people's desperation for a name for fame and they do all sorts of things so let this stop we're in a serious business of letting the nation see Jesus and all those who have access to this content you must promote them responsibly and make sure that at the end of it people find Jesus don't twist messages pick one part put another part to speak a lot of things and 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 uh, please be warned don't do that the cause of the Lord is in the house of the wicked hallelujah and when we give disclaimers like this that is not all we can do we are responsible people who love the body and, um, but I want you to know that we have enough influence to produce any effect that needs to be produced. So please be warned. Um, silence and silence and maturity should not be mistaken for weakness. Hallelujah. Great people do not tear down others. Great people are builders. Those who tear down are weak, insecure people who are trying to find meaning for their lives. The cure is to find meaning for your life through the word and in destiny okay so I needed to say this this is very important I think that's a good announcement um, to have made praise God